Uh, I met Beatrice in 2000 when I invited her to create an artist book for the Museum of Modern Arts artist book program. But, and it was very important that it should be there, I felt, because MoMA has, uh, since its founding, been fascinated with the Livre d'Artiste and the artist book, the 19th century, early 20th century tradition where artists collaborate with authors, editors sometimes, uh, writers to create uh, usually a limited edition work of art in the form of a book. And they have one of the best, the I would almost say the best collection in the world. That sounds too much, but it's not too much to say. It's a fantastic collection that contains works by, well, um, among others, uh, Matisse and Picasso, the books by Matisse and Picasso and Sonia Delaunay's uh, um, books, book uh, that, certainly impressed Beatrice early on. She's interested in narrative, um, printmaking. She just made fantastic prints with um, the Durham Press that I'd seen a few years before. Uh, And uh, I think the layering she made seemed to be full of potential. And it was, she was, was, she was a very exciting new voice in, in New York at that time for us. And uh, I thought it would also be full of potential, the, the work with the references to, you know, Baroque Brazil, Brazilian modernism. It was a great way to um, engage in uh, a com- the art of, of someone who was deeply engaged in Brazilian culture. So I met, uh, Beatrice when she came, um, I guess I guess it was the spring of 2000. And, uh, and we began to talk about what sort of writer she would work with. The, the tradition is generally an artist would uh, respond but not illustrate the text, respond to but not illustrate the text of a, of a writer. Um, and she began to think about this and she, she actually chose a very interesting path. She chose writers, artists, you might say, who she's always cherished, um, who are songwriters. And uh, so we, uh, we kept talking and talked about what kind of printmaking she would do. She ended up making a book that responded to the lyrics of many Brazilian um, songwriters um, whose work she knew growing up. And um, this is the book, it's the size of a record album. And the, she, wanted, she worked in silk screen, which she's always loved. She likes the machined smooth quality of silk screen, the kind of pop, the pop element of silk screen. And uh, it's something she's very comfortable with. She worked closely with uh, Jean-Paul Russell at the Durham Press. And the book is almost in two parts. There are the songs in um, Portuguese and and translated into English uh, around which she doodled and, and played. Um, And then there is a series of prints that make make you feel like you're sort of going through a passage of the sights and sounds of Rio. It's almost, it's a celebration of Rio and its music and its streets. Um, There's even a point where she, there's there's no music there's no uh, lyrics here but this is the the birds of the Amazon they have their own section we don't have the <laughs> we don't have the lyrics but we have a beautiful double page spread to indicate a place of song um, and uh, she wrote a short piece about what she'd done afterwards and 
was just really a, an extraordinary effort, which many people appreciated. I certainly did. Um, she's she has some. She's certainly departed from the tradition. I mean, there's there are things here that you can't quite see. There's a plastic parachute cloth on the spine. Uh, there's the very bold color. There's there's plastic here. There's acetate that she's printed on, which is kind of an anti um, precious arts of the book. Uh, and uh, I think she just did a great work. I will say that when she, I first saw it, the, the sense of uh, history and place and the layering, the sense of layers was, surpri was surprising and color and, and the, her boldness uh, in playing with color working in color was very surprising. And as you might know, New York is a place which goes to black and white minimalists whenever, <laughs> when, whenever it can. So it was, it was just bold to see it. It was surprising to see it uh, in 2000, I think. And then people, people really started to understand her work, it seems to me a few years after we did this book, more and more people understood it. It had, it had penetrated uh, the New York art world and well, she's very well established and there's no denying she's one of the most important female artists anybody can name.